Hey there, I'm Dr. Jim. Thanks for stopping by. I have a very good topic today and one that I wrote a lengthier article on and I uh, hope you check it out too. It's on Parkinson's disease and end of life care. Um, as you know, if you've been watching my, my videos and reading my articles, I've been talking a lot about neurodegenerative disorders and um, they're very difficult, very difficult for the, the individual that's diagnosed, who is diagnosed. It's also very difficult for family members and uh, professional paid caregivers, especially as these diseases progress. So the neurodegenerative disorders that I've been focusing on include Parkinson's, which I'll talk about, Alzheimer's, Huntington's, ALS, MS, and even AIDS, uh, HIV. So Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder and it affects movement um, due to the impairment of a dopamine producing group of neurons in a particular part of the brain. The disease develops gradually and kind of silently with almost no noticeable symptoms. And uh, a sad fact about this and other neurodegenerative disorders, individuals will have the disorder developing sometimes for years before any symptoms do become noticeable. So as the disease develops, um, an individual might experience a, a slight tremor in one hand. And the disease also can cause slowness of movement and muscle stiffness and then symptoms will continue to develop over the years and symptoms can vary slightly from person to person. Now Parkinson's usually uh, begins after the age of 60 although there are cases prior to 60. Uh, did you know though that Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disorder in the United States? right after Alzheimer's disease, which is still number one. Uh, the average length of life for an individual diagnosed with Parkinson's can be 10 to 15 years, sometimes more. According to the CDC, Parkinson's is the 14th leading cause of death in the United States today. It affects more men than it affects women. And unfortunately, the cause is still unknown but science is leading towards heredity and certain chemicals in our environment, especially pesticides. So for people who work with pesticides, there is a risk, theoretically speaking. There's no cure, very sadly, no cure, but there are medications that are available. The medications are used to treat symptoms but at this time, medications cannot slow the progress of the disease. So I have so much more to share with you. Please take a look at the article, read it, share it with your friends and your colleagues, forward it to others. And I invite you to stop by drjimcollins.com. I have a lot more interesting information to share with you there. And um, you and I, can take a look at many, many interesting things that are going on in healthcare, science, leadership development, and senior care. Until next time, I'm Dr. Collins. Stay well.